Hello, today's video is going to be showing you how to pretty much assemble your Oliru uh, garden cart. Um, this one in particular is green and it's all metal. Um, right now I have all the parts displayed out right now. So pretty much just to make sure I had all my parts here, um, which I do. Um, the way to determine that is when you open up the package, clear everything out, uh, get your manual and there's a parts description. And it tells you how many parts are are there, along with what part, how many it has in that quantity for that specific part. Um, and once you've done that, you can pretty much get started from there. Um, so let's get started. Okay, so right now what I have on my table um, is basically all the parts for step one. So when you cleared off your desk um, or your work and station, wherever you're gonna do it. Um, just make sure that you have all the proper tools. Today I'm going to be using a pair of pliers and also a socket and ratchet um, just for the convenience of uh, the video. Um, it'll make my, my life a little bit easier. Um, I'm going to be using a 13 millimeter socket um, and that works for the bolts. Um, and I'm using the pliers for um, basically to hold the other side of the bolt so I have security when I'm trying to tighten the bolt. So without further ado, let's get started. So what we're going to do is pretty much flip it over like so and you're also going to get this T looking part here. You're going to basically place it on top like so. So as you can see, there's holes right there and there's also holes on this part here. So you're just going to line them up. And then what you're going to do next is get your bolts. And you're going to place the bolts through here. Like I said, you got to make sure they're lined up properly because if they're not, then the bolts won't go through. So make sure they go in like that. And you're going to get your, your bolt here, tie it on the back end. I'm sorry if you can't see what I'm trying to do because if I let go of it, it's just gonna tilt over. So. Um, you're going to do the same thing on the opposite end. You're going to get your bolt, push it through, get your other bolt here, tighten it on the back end. And I'm going to fast forward myself as I'm tightening these bolts. Um, but by the time it goes to the next frame, it should be complete. So this is pretty much what it should look like after uh, you finish tightening the bolts. That's how it looks on the front. And that's how it looks like on the rear. Um, so that's pretty much how you finish step one. Now let's move on to step two. All right, so like I said, we had finished step number one. We'll move on to step number two. For, uh, you get your, basically the frame of the, uh, of the car here and then you also get the other handle like this and then you get you get bolts from your hardware pack here all they are are the washers and the bolts so um, pretty much what you're doing on this step 
Um, it's pretty self-explanatory since uh, each handle has its own set of holes. So the one that we use for step number one only had one hole, um, but for the second step here, they actually have two holes on the bottom, um, which I will, sh I will show you when we get a little closer up look um, when we're doing this step two. So let's get started. So pretty much what you're gonna do um, we can start from the back or the front, however you want to call it. Um, we're going to go from here. So we're going to start from here. And like I said, um, on this particular handle here, it has two holes. And back here, it has two prongs. So obviously, that's the only way you can go. So just place it on top like so. And you're going to go, and get, go ahead and get your, your bolts that they told you to use. Uh, so you can get one washer and one bolt and secure it onto there then you're going to do the same thing for the other side you're going to get one washer and one bolt and secure the bolt onto there and then what you're gonna do on the other side, so since so since this side only has one prong, that's where you're gonna place step number one. Um, you're going to basically place it like so. And then you're gonna get your one washer and one bolt. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually fast forward to where I'm um, already on step three. Um, I'm going to fast forward where I'm tightening the screws so um, you're not just sitting here waiting for me to finish tightening the screws. So um, um, I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back. should look like after step two is completed next what we're going to do is move on to step three and we're basically going to be putting the wheels on um, so just get all four of your wheels and then you're going to get part number 13 which includes four cotter pins um, and four washers so just grab those really quick and we can install them really quick as well. I'll show you how to do the first wheel and it's gonna be the same exact same way for the other three. So give me a second while I get those. All right, so I'm gonna show you one side uh, how to insert your tire. So this is pretty much what it looks like. I'm, um, I have the tire in my hand here. And what you're gonna do is insert the tire this way as you can see, you can see the stem right here for the uh, for the air, and then what you're gonna do is place it through. So that's how your tire should look like after you did that. And then what you're gonna do is get your piece uh, part uh, piece number 13, which include a washer and this little cotter pin right here. So what you're gonna do is place the washer through here. Then what you're gonna do is insert your cotter pin through. Then you can just basically um, push the cotter pins out so they're separating like this. 
so it don't fall off or anything like that. You can do it to the other side as well. Um, I'm gonna fast forward so I have all four on and we'll go from there. All right, so that's what it should look like after you completed that step there, which was step number three. On step number four, you're actually gonna be moving to the front of the cart and you're gonna be placing the handle through um, the part that we did for step number one. So um, what you're gonna do is get your handle, part number five, and then you're gonna get another bolt. That's part number 10, I believe. And insert the bolt and it'll uh, basically connect the handle to the bar. Um, let me zoom in so you can have an idea what I'm talking about. So as you can see, there's a hole on that piece that we did, uh, we attached um, on set number one. So there's a hole right here. So that's where you're gonna be placing your bolt through and then you're gonna have your handle going this way and you're gonna place a bolt through and make sure it fits through in there properly. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. You're going to guide the bolt through. Find the hole on the other side and push it all the way through. should look like after that step is completed um, so at this point the handle can go up and down and um, that's pretty much it that's what the handles for so um, let me flip it over uh, so I can get on its wheels and then um, I can move on to the next step and I believe that should be the last step so we can uh, have this uh, garden cart going all right so I have the cart flipped over um, last step pretty much is putting the the, bit, uh, the fence is on there so what you're gonna do um, you can either start on either side um, I'm gonna start on this side since the camera's on this side so you have a better view um, so basically the key to install these uh, side fences here um, make sure that this piece right here make sure these pieces here line up because if you don't have them all like that it's gonna mess up the entire thing so just make sure you have it like that and then what you're gonna do is insert a cotter pin the last of your cotter pins uh, you're gonna place it through like so and that part is secure there then what you're gonna do on the other side like I said earlier you're gonna do the exact same thing on this side you're going to place a cotter pin through here and there you go um, you're gonna do that for the other side as well so let me fast forward to that point um, where I have three sides up and then I'm gonna show you how to do the front side Much what it should look like after you put all three sides up. Um, the only part that's left is the front, which I'm gonna show you how to do now. So just get your front piece here, place it here on the inside, like so. If you're having some issues on having this piece kind of hook around this piece here, um, what you can do is loosen up this bolt, take the washer off, pull this out, hook it around, or basically pull this out, push it through this way, put the washer back, put the bolt back, 
and it ended up working for me. So uh, you can do that and that should work for you. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. That's what it should like look like after it's completed. Um, it's pretty sturdy. So that's pretty much what it should look like after everything's installed, your tires, your frame, um, the sides, your handle. Here it comes. Your handle. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, it's really functional. It's you know it has off-roading tires, so it, or all-terrain tires, so it can pretty much go anywhere. That's what it should look like after it's done. If you have any questions or concerns, you can feel free to give us a call and we can definitely assist you. Hope you have a great rest of your day and thank you for watching our video.